One of my favorite things about summer is definitely spending time in nature. So even though I live in crowded Southern California, I love that there's never a national or state park too far away. Anyway, if parks have been your happy place this summer, then these five jobs are for you. If you love teaching people, but aren't sure if you want to be stuck in a classroom all day every day, then you're going to love our first stop on this little Parks Jobs road trip. Let me send you to Arizona real quick to introduce you to your dream job. This is Red Rock State Park in Sedona, Arizona. We're a habitat protection and environmental education park. I'm a park ranger here. My official title is the environmental education park ranger. So in addition to maintaining the park and interfacing with the public, I also run our education program, which is called the Connection Program. Uh, it's a K through 12 field trip program where we get students um, out here to the park and we do kind of hands-on um, environmental education. Just being outdoors is incredibly fun for me. And also, you know, anything we have to do with plants and wildlife is really fun. But what I feel passionate about is sort of bringing that enjoyment I have and trying to share it with other people. Another way to share your love of parks with other people is through promotion. For parks outreach directors, PR and community engagement are key to getting more people to visit and appreciate their park. So if you spend most of your time in the parks posting to your story, there's actually a career path that you could use your talents. My name is Jorge Savala. I am the Community Outreach Director for Friends of Santa Cruz State Parks. So like, I personally uh, never got to go camping until I was 27 years old, right? Like, wait, um, kids should experience s'mores, right, early on, or you know, this nature and everything else. It's uh, really enriching. So uh, my goal is to really make it accessible to everybody. We created this new model working with alternative ed schools. And so we set up a field trip here, ongoing now, where they come in, they get their hands dirty, they're all excited. Then we do a tour of the adobe, learn about the bear and bullfights, about the history of the land acquisitions and the loss of land and everything else. And then that's how we build a pipeline for future state park stewards. Personally, whenever I'm in a park, I get kind of obsessed with identifying all of the different plants around me. And if you're the same, you might be a budding research ecologist. Research ecologists get to study the plants, animals, and ecosystems present in all sorts of parks. My name is Lauren Pyle Knapp. I'm a research ecologist with the U.S. Forest Service Northern Research Station. So we're really interested in creating pollinator habitat in these log landing sites. Yeah, it's anything from just being out here and measuring plants to, you know, leading teams of people. Well, it's feeling like you're having even a little bit of an impact on the greater good. Like this landing, it's actually really pretty now. Um, right now there's not a whole lot flowering on it, but we did this. Like we, you know, it's just a little, you know, probably quarter acre area, but like we did something, bees are responding, we see pretty plants. And even if it doesn't go beyond this, it's like we, we did a little bit of good. I know this one seems obvious, but still it's the perfect parks career. And as obvious as it seems, do you actually know what a park ranger does from day to day? It's a little bit of a mystery for me. So let's see what a day in their life is actually like. In Nevada State Parks, we wear a lot of hats. I could be a tour guide, I could be a cashier, I could be teaching a, a young kid how to fish, I could be arresting somebody for whatever crime. <laughs> I could be building a trail, I could be pouring concrete, I could be building a new park structure. I mean, you name it, we do it, right? Mm -hmm. We used to do the typical slideshow, you know, this is a rock, this is a tree, this is a, <laughs> you know what I mean? And so we got away from that to more of a, an interactive junior ranger programs. You know, we started developing those, we started doing Dutch oven events or bike rides or hikes. And so that's what keeps it so interesting. If you love going into nature to escape for the summer, did you know you can actually help bring the beauty of a national park into your own neighborhood? Across the country, all kinds of companies and nonprofits are working to bring more and more trees into urban and suburban communities. So we checked in with one urban forester who's working to make St. Louis a greener place. 
I'm in charge of steering the ship, making sure that our great tree-focused organization is making an impact in both people and places across the state of Missouri. As far as for forest relief, parks like Tower Grove Park that we're here now, they all receive trees from our organization. So we grow trees and we provide them free of charge to any public or nonprofit partners that have an interest in planting trees. We want to remove the barrier of that cost and that kind of resource. So if anybody wants it, you know, we can deliver on those trees and they plant them here. So it's it's so amazing to go for a jog in my own park and see our trees growing up from, you know, babies to you know, 12, 20 year old trees. Need more inspiration for your career path? Let us know your interest in the comments and we'll find some options for you. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm off to explore. See ya.